Hi everyone, we're here to talk today a little bit about the Dynamic Data Center. And the subtitle is, Has IT Lost Control? And what this is really all about is the sort of transitions, both business and technological, that our customers are undergoing. And I want to talk just a little bit about that particular change, what's driving it, and then what our opportunity is to go and address this tremendous change in this tremendous environment called the Dynamic Data Center. There are lots of things changing in and around IT. Maybe the most important one is in the area of people. Where right now, over 50% of the global workforce is the baby boomers, or people that are above 40 years old. But within the next 10 years, over 75% of the global workforce will be Generation Y workers that are currently between 20 and 30 years of age. And what's important about this is the way that Generation Y people work, behave, play, they mix business and pleasure. They expect immediate technological solutions to what they're doing, and they're far more demanding than any previous generation before them. That's putting a tremendous amount of pressure on the way that IT organizations are addressing their businesses and their customers, as well as the capabilities that are required to have a successful next generation of IT workers. In the case of process, as a company, one of our key strategies is DevOps. The focus has got to be on ops. There's already been a tremendous hyper growth in application deployment, and now it's up to operational organizations to deliver new, better, improved IT services and capabilities, all with continued cost pressure and risk issues surrounding them. And in the case of tools and technology, I don't think there's a better answer than what we're doing in the way that we're thinking about our Chorus product. Instead of individual products being made available to IT organizations, we're taking a, a combination of big data and platform to give IT organizations new insight that they could never see before and giving them more efficiency in the way that they do their work, solve problems, and deliver solutions. And technologies continue to grow and change. Within our business, IBM continues to push the System Z into new territories like big data, like mobile, and in addition to that, other companies are moving what was formerly hardware and rigid technological solutions into pure software solutions. And a good example of that is Cisco and all the work that they're putting in with software-defined networks. Now beyond pressure for IT organizations to change internally, the number one driver is consumerization. And consumerization is all about what businesses need to do to get a customer, retain a customer, and the mandates the customers are putting on businesses. And in the next few years, there's an incredible amount of change that's still in front of us. There are currently over one billion connected devices on the internet, but in the next two to three years, that number will increase to over 10 billion. And for the first time, there'll be more connected devices in the world than there actually are people. So when we start to think about transactions, when we think about data, when we think about experience, that is just gonna explode at levels that we could never anticipate in the past. And across the internet, over eight zettabytes of data will be created. So with all the data that's being created right now, that's currently something south of two zettabytes. We're gonna increase that over fourfold as well with those 10 billion devices. The impact of consumerization is most dramatically felt on lines of business, who historically have gone to IT organizations and asked for new solutions to be put in place. But because of all of this change, a number of different types of businesses are arising and they're accelerating, causing a generational issue called shadow IT. Now what shadow IT is, the IT hanging around, lurking in the shadows. And that's created through all sorts of different ways. Not the least of which is a company like Topcoder. And the best way I can describe Topcoder is they're the eBay of custom software development. So a line of business can go in have a job bid on, have it developed, have it tested, and have it deployed without the IT organization's knowledge. In addition to that, there are over 65,000 new business applications in the last five years. Those are all being deployed, those are all creating data, those are all driving transactions, all putting more pressure on IT organizations. And then we start to think about other services like Dropbox, which has recently gone past 100 million users and those users are uploading over a billion files a day onto Dropbox infrastructure. And industry analysts are thinking that as much as 35% of IT spend is gonna occur outside of the core IT budgets by 2015. 
And there are some prognosticators who say by the time we get to 2020, that may be as much as 90%. So IT organizations can either respond to this a tremendous amount of change or they could end up being in a place of extinction.